Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm looking at the Kerbal Space Program. It's a free demo download on their website and basically you can design your own spaceship however you like with boosters, engines, rockets, all that kind of stuff and then just launch it and see like how it goes testing. It's kind of it kind of throws Gary's mod with NASA kind of thing. Um, so we're just going into the start here. We've got a tutorial I'm going to skip for now. I'm just going to throw together a little spaceship just to show you how it works. So there's uh, five main tabs on the uh, interface here. You've got propulsion, command and control, structural and aerodynamic, utility and scientific, and then decals, and you've also got crew, but there's nothing in there on the demo version. Um, so we're going to go into utility and scientific and select the parachute, and then we just pop that on the top. So that's basically the safety for when we come back down from the launch and now I'm going to build the uh, spaceship so I'm going to grab a couple of fuel tanks uh, let's yeah, use two for now and then a fuel engine I've played around with this game for about 20 minutes so I kind of got the hang of it so it doesn't take long to learn it it's quite easy to follow um, so you see down on the right here we've got the this is a sequence of launch so when you're on there to a launch panel you press space to launch and it goes from bottom to the top so the first thing that's going to launch at the moment is the engine then the fuel tanks which will feed the engine then the parachute which is for the safety um, so I mean that's all we've got in there at the moment so let's add a few more things so up on the left top left here, not the top left, but near enough to the top left, we got the symmetry. So if you click this a few times it gives you different points. So we currently I clicked it so we got eight points. And we're going to pick a radial decoupler. So we're going to place that on there. And as you can see there's eight points on there. Okay, so what a radial decoupler does is when you've got to attach to it, so it kind of breaks it off. So down in the bottom here we can see the first thing that's going to break off at the moment is those decouplers. So we need to add something onto that, otherwise it's just pointless having them on there. So we go to the propulsion and we're going to add some solid fuel boosters. So sorry about the flashing there. It's, it's not... <laughs> we'll get there eventually. There we go. Okay, so now on the right hand side, the schedule of launches changed. So we've got the boosters first, then we've got the decouplers, which will break off these parts, these boosters here. Then we've got the engine, and then the fuel tanks, and then the parachute as well. Um, so it's very basic. Just use the right click mouse button to uh, look around your, your ship. There's the. Uh, engine spaceship okay so we've got the boosters are going to go first then the decouplers which will break off the boosters then the engine fuel tanks and the parachute so up here on the right hand corner we've got different commands you can save which I'll just press there you can do a new spaceship load the spaceship or you can launch which is the green button which is what we're going to do right now Okay, so in the actual launch area, you can see we've got a multitude of different things. At the top, you've got the atmosphere, and then you've got the amount of miles you're up. And then there's a little dial there as well. Left-hand side, you've got your launch sequence, which I've just talked about. And then your keyboard buttons, W and S controls your pitch. A and D control the yaw. And then Q and E control the roll. Of the actual, excuse me, of the actual spaceship, and then here you've got the um, dial thing. I don't know what you call it. Um, and then the throttle on the left and the G-force on the right. To control the throttle, you press left control to reduce the throttle and left shift to increase it. 
that's the main engine itself rather than the boosters. Okay, on the right we've got our little uh, spaceman here. We've got Bill Kerman, Jebediah Kerman, and Bob Kerman. Um, and that's current. That's the interface there. You've got the stages here, stage two, and then to launch it, we're going to do is press space. So let's do it. Okay, now you can see we've got the miles going up drastically. Press T to turn on the. Uh, Spaceman assisted something so they don't puke up. <laughs> you can see the fuel here is decreasing, so when it gets to about there, I'm going to press space, which will get rid of the boosters. About now, I'll separate them and I'm going to put the engine on. Oh, oh, it's not worked. It's not worked at all. <laughs> right, let's go for it. Let's try again. So press escape to end it and then relaunch. It's going to get to high enough altitude to break these bits off. Okay, let's break those off. Press space and then the engine seems to be working with the parachute. I don't know why that is. So yeah, but anyway, the parachute will bring them down softly. Another thing we can add, if we go back to the vehicle assembly, is we can add a decoupler for the stack. So basically, we bring everything down and put that in between. And this will basically get rid of everything underneath the cabin. So it will get rid of all the fuel in the engine and all, the, all that stuff. So we go back to launch. Try again. Okay, so we've got the fuel going down. And increase the throttle with left shift so it's ready to go. Oh, not maximum but almost at full throttle. I'm gonna break these off now. Press space to Put the main engine into use. Now the fuel is going to go down on the left here. Can I press it. Control the uh, use the A and D to control the the yaw to stop it from rolling back over on itself. Let's try and try and get it more central if we can. So at the bottom here, we're just trying to keep that in the centre using the uh, WASD keys. Oh, no. Okay, so that's quite good right now. So you can see we're 14,000 metres above Earth level. And drastically increasing. So the atmosphere is going up as well. Let's try and get this centered back again. I mean, it's a lot of fun this game. You can just make any kind of spaceship you wish. And I've got to send the SAS Force on as well. It's quite handy to do. <laughs> Stops your uh, spaceman feeling so sick. It's quite a successful launch actually, it's the best one I've done, so orbit. Now atmosphere's going down. Looking down on the earth now. Jeez. Not gonna let it tilt too much. But look at that, look how far we're up, it's ridiculous. 85,000 metres now, 90,000 metres. And I'm going to break, press space now to break off the fuel tanks from the cabin. Yeah, and that's not gone to plan. 
Houston, we have a problem. Oh, there we go. It's broken off. So there you go. You can see now if I zoom in. We've broken off from the engine. And that's going to hang around in, in there because we've got no atmosphere. We're going to keep on going. So now we can turn, turn around the cabin. But I've got to say it's a pretty successful launch. Considering it's, I've only done a couple. Probably not the best thing actually to do to get rid of the engine, but <laughs> so yeah, we're now in orbit, almost 225,000 meters up now. Was that miles? It's miles, isn't it? Surely it's miles, not meters. So yeah, wow. It's another planet over there. I'm not sure which one is closest to Earth, is it? It's not the moon, is it? Yes, of course it is. Dur, it's a moon. And people have landed on the moon in this game as well. It's possible, so that's another thing you could do. So yeah, let's end the flight now. So yeah. There's all the yeah, information, what happened, flight events. And yeah, so we travelled 293,686 miles. High speed achieved was 2,000 miles a second. Jeez. 3.8G maximum. So let's go back to relaunch. I mean that that stack coupler, decoupler maybe is not something you'd want to use. Maybe you want to keep the engine. I'm not sure if you can actually turn the engine off. That's the view we, we'd usually have. Right. Take that off. I just pressed the button. Auto camera. We can press C to do chase free camera or chase camera. So that's the uh, direct. Let's try and get this a bit central. Wow. So the spacemen are loving it right now. in the engine. Full full. And we can decouple and then use the parachute as well. So I'm gonna just jump back into the assembly building. As you can see that was quite a successful ship and it was only a quick build as well so it's pretty good considering. So yeah that's a little quick look at the uh Kerbal Space Program. It's a free demo, so go and download it, guys. I recommend it. It's really good stuff for a little play around with kind of experience, aerodynamics, and building and all these different things. So yeah, it's good for good for a little free demo. So go and grab it, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day, and goodbye.